Hey, what's up folks, GK here. So Just Keep Filming asks, do you have a tutorial on how to connect to Cloud SQL from App Engine? So by the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use your App Engine application and connect to Cloud SQL. So I'm going to use MySQL in this, but the concept is same, either you can use MySQL or Postgres. So without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so first things first, open your console and select your project where you want to create your application for App Engine. And once you select the project, go to the Cloud SQL. Cloud SQL is a service like RDS in you know AWS where you can create a, a database, either it could be MySQL or Postgres SQL or even SQL Server. So we're going to use MySQL for this tutorial. I'm going to click on create instance and choose MySQL. And then here for instance ID, it has to be a unique ID. So I would give something like GK demo YouTube and generate the root password. You can leave rest of these things as default and click on create. All right, so while this is creating, I will pause the video and resume once this is created. All right, so our instance got created. We're going to click on the instance. So right now we have a root user, uh, which is the main user, but we're going to use a, a different user for our operations. So for that, I'm going to create a user. But before that, uh, the things that I would like to show you is that, you know, this instance is accessible from outside which is using the public IP address as you can see here and the most important thing to note here is also the connection name which we're going to use uh, from App Engine. Now when we go to the databases we do not have um, user created database so we do have um, the MySQL default databases and you know performance schema and stuff what we're going to do is we're going to create a database for our demo and I'm going to call it as a demo and create so we have a database now and then I'm going to create a new user as well create user master GK test one two three four so this is important uh, allow any host uh, because if you restrict by IP address your cloud SQL or your uh, Cloud Shell might not connect to this to this instance, or even from your laptop, if you want to connect, it's better to have it as this. Create. Okay, so now we have created an instance, we have a database, and as well as we have a user. So let's go to the Cloud Shell. So if you, I think by now you know how to activate the Cloud Shell on the top right corner, you see activate Cloud Shell. Once you click on that, it opens at the bottom. But I would prefer it to be opened here in a new window so once you have opened the cloud shell um, check your gcloud config gcloud config list to check if your project is configured here as you can see here i do not have the project set here so gcloud config set project so now this is going to set this cloud shell to this project. So since I was working on a YouTube demo, which is um, having this product project ID. And you're going to set the same project ID here. So now if you go back to do G cloud config list, you're going to see the project is um, added here. All right, so I'm going to clear the screen. So now we have the database. So we want to connect to the database. So to connect to the database, the command is, I'm going to give all the commands in the description. So you don't have to worry about that. G cloud SQL connect. This is the instance name. So to get the instance name, go to the overview page. Okay. So once you are in the overview page, you can see the name here, copy that name, 
paste it here and we're going to connect as a user master gk which i have currently created for uh, for this instance go to the cloud shell and paste this command it's going to take a while uh, it should be less than five minutes but basically what it is trying to do is it is trying to whitelist my cloud shell to connect to the instance all right so here i'm going to enter my password okay so i have connected to my um, instance now i'm going to do show databases so i have demo database i'm going to do use demo show tables i don't have any tables yet so i'm going to create a new table which is a demo table basically you know it's a very simple table it's going to have a demo id um, as a primary key and then demo text where i'm going to put some text to display it on the browser so id and text and primary key being demo id I'll copy this and paste it here so now if i do show tables so i have a demo table i'm gonna insert a record into that table all right so now select star from demo underscore tbl should give you a text which i have inserted right now and then the demo id which is a primary key so now we are good with this so this is the first part of the video where we have set up our database and we have ins we have created a table and inserted some dummy text so now we have to go back to our app engine and query this information to the app engine um, since we're using python we're going to use flask and display this information on our browser so before i get into the app engine part you know if you are new to my channel and if you like these videos do click on the subscribe and like button so that you can encourage me to create more such videos and as well as comment if you like this uh, content all right so now let's go to the app engine if you are new to app engine as well you know click on my previous videos on app engine i have explained um, how to create an application in app engine how to split traffic a lot of other good things that uh, that are uh, very important uh, from the exams perspective as well so i'm in the app engine i have used uh, this app engine before as you all know you can create one application per project using app engine so i have used this before and i have a couple of versions which are already currently serving the traffic but if, if you're starting from the first if you're starting it from the first time on your project you don't have to worry about this part because you know uh, you don't have versions but the concept and everything will be still same okay so now what we need is we need to create the files right so basically app engine requires three files once one is requirements.txt app.yml and on, and then main.py so for that so for that you can go to a github page of google so this is what i have used i think in my previous videos so you can get the sample from here as well when you uh, i'll provide the link of this and i also have this link in my github account so once you click on this link you can search for um, app engine i think yeah app engine here and then you can select the standard python 3.7 you will see a lot of very good examples in the terms of cloud sql you know if you want to use postgres if you want to use mysql you can pick from here and you can play around with these files so what i did was i, I picked mysql from here and then i've modified slightly uh, the query and stuff and then i created i put that in my github account so i'll also give link of my github account in the description you can copy this and you can use it in your application as well so now uh, copying this link i'm going back to the cloud shell so we are done with the database part exiting from here clearing the screen and i'm going to do git clone so this is to my github account you're going to see a google cloud folder if you 
if you uh, clone my github account here go to app engine all right so you see three main files here app.yaml main.py readme uh, is not relevant and requires requirements.txt so uh, the first file that you have to make changes is app.yaml so in the app.yaml you mentioned the runtime which is python 3.7 and then we're going to change this information the db username is master gk password is test 1234 So for the database name, you can go back to the databases if you are not sure or if you have forgotten the name and the name is demo. So demo here and the connection name for the connection name as well. You can go to the OU here and then get this connection name. Copy this and paste this here. Okay, so save this file. Now go to the main.py. So main.py is where you have your logic of querying the database. And here it is querying, um, basically in the first few lines, it is trying to get the information from the environment variables that we have set in app.yaml file. And the app.route is important because as soon as you hit the browser, you know it, it has to display the query information so that you can leave it as default and here is where we're going to get our uh, select our query i mean we can insert the query part which is select um select demo text from demo tbl shift insert we have the query here save this file and one more file is requirements.txt since we are going to use sql alchemy for this database part this is important and rest of the things you can leave it as default and if you want to modify these things or if you want to use different libraries by all means feel free to use that I'm just going with whatever that's there in the default configuration. And now you can do gcloud app deploy. Sorry, cloud app deploy. Want to say yes? It's going to take a while. And while this is happening, you can go back to your app engine, uh, click on the versions. It's going to create a new version. So currently the traffic is being served on this version, which is 100% traffic. And you will see a new version appearing as soon as uh, the deployment is done. So updating the service done, which means you should see a new service here. And now it is also setting the traffic 100% to that service. So before I hit the URL, I'll, I'll ask you a quick question on this and you can comment the answer if you know that. Let's say I'm deploying the service and I don't want to serve my 100% traffic. What is the flag that you can set during app deploy so that you don't want to you know serve the traffic as soon as you deploy the app what what flag is that if you know the answer feel free to put it in the comment section all right so now i'm going into incognito because uh, you know it's a caching issue uh, i would like to use without cache all right so you can see here hello guys thanks for watching my video this is what i have inserted into the database and i'm getting as a response back to an app engine and app engine from app engine and you can see it on my browser 
this is a simple tutorial and if you have any issues while you are playing around with this do app lock style minus s default for example if you have made a syntax error uh, this will give you a complete information about wh where you have done a mistake i hope this tutorial is helpful for you all and you can play around with postgres or any other database as well um, with that thanks for watching and do click on subscribe if you like these videos take care of yourselves bye for now